before and after meth. Insane. Look at the damage caused in these pictures. And look at some of the hope, some of these end pictures. Wait for it. Let's get into it. K Rugs, the Sober Dog, coming at you. Remember, Sober Dogs does not promote or condone any drug use. Please seek professional medical help if you have an addiction. This one is about before and after meth and the damage caused by meth. A lot of these were released by police departments and governments to help educate people on how quickly it can go insane. I mean, just looking at this one, you know, released from Faces of Meth by the police department when they were doing their campaign, just, you know, a year and a half into it, her face, all the wounds, all the, the scars, you know, insane. Those scars a lot of times are from a couple of different things. I'll get into in a minute. This one, same thing. Look at the progression. Start six months, four years. Not that long of a timeline and you could see how bad it's getting. Once again, a common theme, the scars and open wounds all over the face. This is a wild one. The reason I think this one is so important, this lady looks like she aged 25 years in that period of time. That is wild. She looks like she went from 35 to 55 overnight. This girl, same thing. You could see just from the start, like the innocence almost in her eyes, it's starting to get a little bit like, I know I'm struggling, but there's still a little bit of hope. There's still a little bit of life there. And then that second picture, the eyes tell it all, just hopeless. And then those open wounds. So those open wounds, a lot of times, one, they're from picking. And if you want to see about coke bugs and meth mites, check out that video. I talk all about them. I was somebody who got this real bad. When I did coke, I would see bugs on me. I could hear them. I could feel them. And I would dig into my skin. Also, you get stuck when you do uppers. So imagine a normal day. You wake up. You go to the, the mirror. You're brushing your teeth. You see a pimple. Oops. Maybe you pop it. Maybe you wipe it off. You grab a little Kleenex. You wipe it off. And maybe you spend another five seconds, 10 messing with it. Now imagine that same process. You go in the mirror and you sit there for six hours, popping every little imaginary, some imaginary, some real pimple, blackhead on your face, a bunch that aren't real. And then after you pop it, you are so in the psychosis, insane state, you dig into it with a knife, your fingernails scratching it, scratching your whole face, popping stuff that's not there. I would literally have days where I went in front of the mirror to start messing with myself after I got high. Hours would go by, I have no idea how. I would look up, I did it again. Oh, that's the biggest tell. Scars all over my face, and everyone in my life would know that I, I either you know was using again or whatever because I had scars everywhere. I, it was like uncontrollable. I couldn't stop. This guy's got a real bad one. You could see again in that first photo. You know he's got a little. He's struggling, but he's got a little bit of life to him, even with just the hair, so to speak. You could see. Then the second one, the burns and the scars. And the third one, that's all burns. I don't know exactly what it's from. I believe this story specifically, it's from shake and bake explosions, which are when people are making their own meth and it explodes because they don't know exactly what they're doing and all the chemicals react. That is all, I mean, he's the rest of his life, he's gonna have those marks and scars and probably need skin grafts and everything. And again, you can see in his eyes just the pain and the hopelessness. This one is meth mouth. All those chemicals in meth, things like battery acid and, and, and pseudoephedrine and, and different, you know, things like that, I think lithium, destroy body tissue in the mouth and everything. Teeth fall out, tongues get different discolored, mouth discolored, inside parts of the tongue can start getting scars and chunks taken out. It's bad. And this person, see what happens to their teeth, just like that. This is a bad one of meth mouth. And this one, you could tell too, what, what I assume also happened in this one, not only the chemicals, but you're so delusional and insane for days on end, you forget to just general mouth care. 
you know, something like brushing your teeth or drinking water, how important that is, dehydration to our mouth. The amount of work and money needed to repair that now is, is, is incredible. This one's crazy too. Look at the weight loss. That is nuts, the weight loss. I don't know how much weight this guy lost, but almost everyone insane amounts of weight lost during meth addiction because you just go hours and days without eating because you are so gone. The open wounds, the scars, the whole lifestyle around it brings those wounds and those scars. Here's another weight loss one. Just you could see how, how this just ruined her, ruined her life seven years and you could just see how much pain it caused. This is a bad one, the open wounds, again, the eyes and the facial expression, just the pain. Oh man, this one's really bad and another example of when shake and bake goes wrong. She got burned, that's sad, that whole facial structure area. A lot of the scars and stuff can heal to an extent the little ones when you're picking, but stuff like this, that's permanent. Skin grafts, it's insane. And then here's some happy ones to see the transition. Look at this, holy crap. That is freaking wild. I mean, just look at them. You could see this couple, wow, wow, wow. You could see they look so much happier, so much more at peace. Awesome, congratulations for them, so cool. This girl, look at her. That's a, such an incredible transformation. So happy to see stuff like that. And you can just, again, look at the pain in reverse. This guy, the eyes say it all. First picture to second picture, recovery. Good for him, incredible. And the final one, this one is the most insane transformation to me. Wow, that is nuts. This picture went all over social media and, and, and it's so cool to see, look at that transformation. That is hope and that is insane to where she was. That should give anybody hope. If you're in the middle of it, you can get out of it. K-Rugs, The Sober Dog, and I'm out. See ya.